guys so today we're gonna do an aerial tutorial so first of all there are many ways for you to practice your aerials i find personally that the best way is to just go into a uh, an online game and just if you see the ball in the air as long as you got boost just go for it and if you if you miss it you miss it what's the worst that can happen a goal a goal well you know you're learning at the end of the day so so that's so there are there are three different ways to go and get your aerial so the first way is just getting the jump and going to hit the ball so just a single jump so a single tap of x leaning back using your boost to get to the ball now i hit that with the wheels you always want to hit the you always want to hit it with the body work so so just before you're going to go and hit the ball this one's not a nice one because this one is very high you want to just go and hit the uh you want to hit it with the body work so hit it with any part of your green basically if you're using my car so after you've done that there are there are three different ways so you've got the first way is the way that i just showed you so you got that lean back and that so you got lean back up and then you can hit the ball so you can just practice doing that you can lean forward or something if you need to so just to practice that you can just do that don't need to turn or anything if you want to turn to make it look fancy you can but just practice you know and practice having control of your car by going into a one of these lobbies starting off here going up into the air and just circling around that ball so you want to just basically hover every over every single one of these boots so there's a boost there so i find that hard with a bit when you're like this because then you can't really see much so you have got to you have got to practice doing that just turn around you can turn to help you get some accuracy so you got that one and then you've always got your jump reset now your jump reset so if the ball's high like that your jump reset will come and kind of help you and you can so if the ball's high you can and you can boost towards it to to get more power behind your shots now the second way is if you need to gain height quicker but not the quickest way so that way is just double jumping and doing that so if you look now hitting the ceiling if we single jump we got one two three so about three seconds roughly and then if we double jump one two three so they are about the same but you do start off a lot higher so there you go see that's a lot quicker now the quickest way which is if you want to hit good ranks and rank and stuff you are going to need this because you need to jump to get the ball quickly so you want to single jump lean back and jump again so if i try and do that slowly because you will lose your jump reset because you are using your jump so you're going to jump boost and then do that so if we just put a timer on this, already. So uh, you have got to be careful with that. You need to jump and then do it again. Because if not, if you like double jump and like that, that's that's what's gonna happen. If you double jump and pull back, so jump and there you go, like that. So that is the most efficient way. And then just for practice, you want to just jump into a random online match. So if you're going to hoops, hoops is a good way because the ball's mostly in the air. So we're just going to jump into a game. And I'm going to run through some of the sections that you need to practice. So the first area that you can practice with hoops is the kickoff. Oh, so I joined a game halfway through. So 
but it's not really that practical, but there you go. So let's just go and get boost. You do not need a hundred boost to do an aerial like you do. Well, you don't need a hundred for a... So that's just a little aerial because I couldn't really get much height. So here we go. So we can just line that up. And then I really want um, the kickoff because I can show you, but at the moment there are no... I don't normally play hoops, I have got to say. But that's, that's probably a goal, is it? Lovely. So, you can just practice going up to get the ball. So. Alright, so this kid's probably going to go for it, but. So there you go, I've leaned up and I didn't have enough boost there. But that's like my point. So, the aerial there denied him of getting that ball. I don't know if it was my teammate or not, but I couldn't really care. Yeah, you got that. There, there you go, I used the flick to get the ball up in the air there. Well, if you want a tutorial on how to flick, I can do a tutorial. Hit the ball high, gone. Right, I'm going to try an air dribble here. Oh, you can't air dribble with this ball. Oh, what are you doing? Go on, hit that in you. Oh, I hate, I gotta say, those uh, little rings that do, do kind of affect it, but as you can see, he jumped off the wall, used his boost, and managed to get the ball in the net there, so. You can do aerials off walls if they help. So here we go, we're gonna... So... With that now, I didn't have enough really boost to... Why are you pushing me? Um... Right, so when that bounces now, you can just practice your aerials to just hit the ball. It doesn't really matter if they go in. Just practice hitting the ball if you're a goalkeeper. So there you go, I used the single jump there. Which means because I was slightly off with my aim, I could. Oh. That's bad. Alright. So there you go again. I'm not sure if that's in or not, but. It kinda. It just helps you to. And that's a go. Um. It just helps you to improve in Rocket League. Now, I couldn't really have aerial that because it was so close to the floor. But the higher the ball, it is. Yeah, so the closer you boost the ball, the better. So, so that's basically the tutorial done. I hope it helped. That's a save there with the aerial, but obviously this kid's got lucky. Oh, lucky kid. I don't know if that's a goal or not, but... Okay, well that's GG. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. Um, so yeah, that's that's it. Thanks.